Right. See you Monday night. It's kicking chicken. Pants! Nazi German Bus slush boys. puppy. Potato chips. We're on our way to breakfast. We're out here in the wilderness. We got it all to ourselves. Sucker. <laughs> All right, setting off 10:30 Saturday morning. Got about 10 miles ahead of us today. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day. So tonight, supposed to have good weather, but tomorrow it's supposed to uh, get cloudy and start to cool down and uh, possibly rain. So we're going to have a nice mix of warm and cool. And by the time we get out of here on Monday morning, it might even be around freezing. So it's going to be interesting. So we'll come up here Monday on this trail. We'll be coming right up here, and when we get to this, we'll head back the way we came. Here's our lunch spot. We got the Thurston Howe the Third hiking club over here <laughs> with their camp chairs. The barista corner. The barista corner. Silently judging, feeling superior to everybody. Just loaded up with water, got about a mile or less into camp, and wrapping up a good first day. I've really slow recovery on It sucked. Here's camp for tonight. Nice little spot. This is perfect, ain't it? It's about as good a setup as you could ask for camping wise. How's it going over here? I think we're good, man. It's about to look at that. Nice. And hot sauce. The hardest part. Oh, yeah. Waiting. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> End of the day, first night in a hammock. So far, so good. Good night. This is what I see as I'm waking up this morning a little bit after seven o'clock. Big question this morning is when is the rain gonna start? when or 
if is it gonna rain. A little windier today, but it looks good. Yeah. Big question is, is it gonna rain? And if so, when? Yeah, maybe. beautiful weather is continuing and we're making our way down the uh, big stone cold trail and we'll be hitting the bottom here in just a moment and we'll be heading east down Red Creek Trail until it makes the turn north and starts to go back up towards Lion's Head and we may catch that on the other side so we'll just kind of see how everybody's feeling when we get there we decided not to hit it on this side just kind of keep making time in case the weather gets a little sideways with us. How'd you guys like that climb? <laughs> All right, so me and Troy and Glenn dropped our packs back there at the uh, junction of the Red Creek Trail and the, what's this Rocky Point Trail, I think. Yeah. And we're gonna go out and see Lion's Head. So, kind of worried that it was gonna get cloudy. We got a cold front moving in, but. I think we're going to hit it just right. Baby. Oh, there's a dog coming up behind us. Hey, pretty. You're a young one.
car at 8.30. <laughs> Don't yeah. say that. Nothing wrong with that. I'll get something out of here, really. I need to drink my coffee in the morning. I haven't made that clear. So we got day two ramped up. It's about 9.20 p.m. Turning in for bed. It's starting to rain. Uh, temperature is supposed to drop quite a bit during the night, so I uh, got some extra clothes to change into. Uh, but all in all, it was a great day today. We did about 11 and a half miles. Uh, went up to Lion's Head, and tomorrow we got about five and a half miles out. Should be an easy day. Good night. Take care. Nick, I want to publicly apologize for the things I said under my breath when you lit that fire this morning. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 7:45. Packing up, getting ready to go eat Mexican food. I mean, hike. Glenn packing it up. Yeah. McGilly goat. Oh, I thought you were over here beating up Kevin. Hurry up! <laughs> We got to sit around last night, courtesy of Nick. And this is what we camp next to. Beautiful campsite up here at the Forks. Coming up the Red Creek Trail. Alright, day three. There you go. Still have six people, I think. Where's Donnie? Donnie, where you at, buddy? About 8.20. On the trail. I remember this terrain. It's been a couple days. Out of the woods and back up on the balds, where I love it. Climb 350? Yeah, 350. Is it all uphill from here on out? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's hardly any hills on this trip. Geographical oddity. <laughs> Wherever you are, you're whatever climbing. direction you go, it's uphill. <laughs> Kevin and I are having some uh, flashbacks to our April trip down to Rome Mountain on our last day, except for it was never this dry. Red Creek Trail heading down into a wet valley. Yeah. Nope. Where are we? You got his rifle right on you. See. <laughs> huh? It's moving. Yeah, it's moving. The Mexicans get closer. Hour and 15. Man, my stomach's starting to eat itself. There's a. <laughs> Which, what did you, you and Kyle said it, profile. there's not a motivator. <laughs> the buster, man. That's Brad's roll. Call. No, no, your stomach is definitely not eating it, though. Your pear-shaped physique lies. So we're going up here. And back. Maybe that dotted. Let me take that dotted there. If we find it. I know you're looking. <laughs> Find it, I say we take it. Yeah. What is it? It's about halfway. So it's about Cut a corner. Oh, yeah. Save us. Miles. Where, where are we right now? All right, here's where we make a fateful decision. We've noticed this dotted line. Huh? Trail. Look okay. good? Yeah. And if it's true, it'll cut off some distance, but if not, it'll add distance. <laughs>
Kevin. Probably another point two to our car. Closing in on the finish line. Just as the mist is kicking in. Uh, last few steps. It's about 11.20. And uh, that ill-fated bushwhack notwithstanding, we did pretty good today. All right. We made it. What's up? Brad. <laughs> Brad's all glistening from his uh, huevos rancheros. So 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 you're not sweating, you're not eating hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> the bamboo ball.